Samantha Ray's grip tightened on the Glock 19 concealed at the small of her back as she stepped into the seedy nightclub, the pulsing beat of electronic music enveloping her like a second skin. Strobe lights sliced through the smoky haze, illuminating the writhing bodies on the dance floor, their faces obscured by a veil of neon and shadow. She scanned the room with eyes the color of ice, sharp and assessing behind thick lashes and glittering eyeshadow. Just another club kid looking for a fix? Just another pretty little thing to be swallowed up by the city's neon maw. Boy. At least, that's what she needed them to believe. Her gaze landed on the VIP section, its velvet ropes guarded by hulking men in designer suits. Her target lounged on a leather sofa in the center of the chaos, a king presiding over his concrete kingdom. Her brother? Her mission. Dante Ray. Did it? A ghost from her past, now reborn as a demon of her present. The golden boy who'd followed their father into the CIA, only to betray everything he once stood for. Samantha's jaw clenched as memories assailed her, memories of laughter echoing through sun-dappled fields, of secretive smiles and whispered childhood pacts. Us against the world, sis. Always. But that was a lifetime ago. Before their father's murder tore their family apart. Before Dante went rogue, abandoning his badge and his country to build a criminal empire on a foundation of blood and bullets. Now he was her assignment, her cross to bear. Samantha made her way to the bar, the click of her stilettos lost beneath the tribal throb of the music. She barely signaled for a drink when she felt his presence behind her, an electrical charge skittering down her spine. Her hand drifted instinctively to her gun. Easy, Sammy. A low voice purred in her ear, cold amusement lacing every syllable. Is that any way to greet your favorite brother? Samantha turned slowly, lifting her gaze to meet eyes as blue and fathomless as the ocean. Dante? Dot? He'd finally found her. Hello, brother mine, she replied coolly, arching a brow. I wish I could say it's good to see you. His lips quirked, a ghost of their shared past. Likewise. Though I must say that dress is a little conspicuous for a CIA agent. Father would be so disappointed. Samantha's fingers curled into a fist at the mention of their father, nails biting into her palm. You lost the right to speak of him when you put a bullet in his chest. Dante's gaze hardened, a muscle ticking in his clenched jaw. Dot. You still don't see it, do you? His death was a mercy. An end to his suffering. Our suffering? Samantha swallowed against the tightness in her throat, forcing the bitter words out. Is that how you justify murder these days? As mercy? He leaned in close, his breath hot against her cheek. I do what needs to be done, what no one else has the stomach for. You understand, soon enough. Before she could reply, the crowd parted like the Red Sea, revealing a man who could only be described as lethally beautiful. Raven hair fell over his forehead in careless curls, brushing the slashing ebony of his brows. Cheekbones like cut glass cast his face in stark relief, all dangerous angles and velvet shadow. But it was his eyes that ensnared her. Eyes, the precise color of molten silver, searing in their intensity as they locked onto hers. Eyes that seemed to whisper of tragedy and desire, of secrets and sins best left in the dark. Ah, Killian! Dante purred, slinging an arm around the man's shoulders. Impeccable timing, as always. Allow me to introduce my beloved sister, Samantha. Gillian's quicksilver gaze flicked over her, a ghost of a smile playing at the corners of his mouth. A pleasure, he murmured, his voice low and rasping. Like a match strike against her senses. Samantha felt heat curl in her belly, unbidden and unwelcome. This was her mark, Dante's deadliest enforcer, the man she'd been sent to exploit, to use as a means to an end. So why did every instinct scream for her to run, even as her traitorous heart yearned to fall into his darkness and never resurface? She knew his reputation, knew the rivers of blood that flowed in his wake, knew that to be drawn into his orbit was to court destruction. But when Killian's fingers brushed hers as he offered her a drink, Samantha felt the world tilt on its axis, felt something shift and shatter inside her, 
a fissure spreading through the icy walls of her resolve. In that moment she glimpsed the truth in his haunted gaze, the same truth that had driven her to this blood-soaked path. The sorrow of a wounded animal. The rage of an avenging angel. The soul-deep knowledge that they were both damned, both walking a razor's edge between salvation and oblivion. And as the night bled into a haze of neon and shadow, of stolen glances and forbidden touches, Samantha felt the first stirrings of doubt take root in her mind. Doubt in her mission, her purpose, her very identity. Because in Killian's arms, she wasn't a CIA agent or a dutiful daughter. She was a woman, yearning and broken and achingly alive. And that terrified her more than any hail of bullets ever could. As dawn crept across the city skyline, Samantha slipped from Killian's bed, gathering the tattered remnants of her resolve around her like armor. She had to finish this. Had to see her mission through, no matter the cost. Even if it meant betraying the only man who'd ever truly seen her, in all her fractured glory. Even if it meant shattering her own heart in the process. Duty, after all, was a cold and merciless mistress. And in the end, it was all Samantha had left. The days bled together in a haze of stolen moments and whispered secrets, of heated glances across crowded rooms and feverish touches in the dead of night. Samantha knew she was playing with fire, knew that every kiss, every caress, was a betrayal of her mission, her very identity. But in Killian's arms, she found a solace she'd never known, a connection that transcended the blood on their hands and the demons in their pasts. With him, she wasn't the Ice Queen, the perfect CIA operative with a heart of stone. She was simply Samantha. Raw, aching, alive. It was a dangerous game, this dance of theirs. A tightrope strung between duty and desire, with oblivion waiting below. Samantha knew she should end it, should walk away before it consumed her entirely. But every time she tried, the memory of Killian's haunted eyes, of the way he shuddered beneath her touch like a man starved, drew her back in. She told herself it was a means to an end, that seducing her brother's right-hand man was the key to infiltrating his empire. But with every passing day, the lie tasted more bitter on her tongue. It all came to a head on a rain-lashed night, with the city's neon bleeding into the puddles at their feet. They'd just returned from a job, adrenaline still singing in their veins, when Killian pushed her against the alley wall and kissed her like a man possessed. Like he wanted to crawl inside her and never come out. Samantha gasped into his mouth, fingers tangling in his raven hair as he hitched her leg over his hip, pressing into her with a desperate urgency that stole her breath. In that moment, the rest of the world fell away. The mission, her brother, the blood that stained both their souls. All that existed was this. Them. No. But reality crashed down like a hammer when a voice cut through the shadows. A voice that haunted Samantha's nightmares and set her veins ablaze with rage. Well, isn't this cozy? Samantha tore her mouth from Killian's, head snapping toward the figure emerging from the mist. Dante. Dada? Dante. A cruel smile played at his lips, but his eyes were cold. Ruthless. Hate to interrupt this touching scene, he drawled. But we've got business to discuss, sister mine. Specifically, the business of your betrayal. Samantha felt Killian tense against her, his grip on her thigh tightening. Slowly, she untangled herself from his embrace, turning to face her brother head on. I don't know what you're talking about, she said coolly, even as her heart hammered against her ribs. Dante chuckled, a harsh grating sound. Don't play coy, Sammy. It's never suited you. He took a step closer, the mist curling around his ankles like ghostly fingers. Did you really think I wouldn't find out? That I wouldn't realize my own flesh and blood was a fucking spy? Samantha's breath caught, fear and denial warring in her chest. He knew. God help her, he knew. Beside her, Killian went utterly still, a coiled snake ready to strike. Is it true? He rasped, his voice like gravel over glass. Are you CIA? Samantha closed her eyes, feeling the world crumble beneath her feet. This was it. The moment of reckoning. 
The moment where she lost everything, her mission, her purpose, the man who'd somehow become her entire universe. But when she opened her eyes, it wasn't Dante's smug triumph she saw. It was Killian's face, etched in lines of grief and bitter understanding. It doesn't matter, he said softly, reaching out to cup her cheek with a gentleness that shattered her. Not anymore. Dante's harsh laugh cut through the air like a whip. Oh, but it does matter, dear Killian. It matters very much indeed. He leveled his gaze on Samantha, all pretense of civility gone. You have two choices, sis. Either you finish what you started and put a bullet in my right-hand man's skull, or I put one in yours. Samantha's heart seized, bilizing in her throat. This was her fault. All of it. She'd let herself be compromised, let herself fall for the enemy. And now, the man she loved was going to pay the price. Unless... Her hand drifted to the gun at her back, fingers closing around the grip with grim resolve. She knew what she had to do, what she should have done from the very beginning. Slowly, she drew the weapon, feeling the weight of it in her palm. The weight of her duty, her destiny. She'd been a fool to think she could escape it, could find some semblance of happiness in this blood-soaked world. Killian watched her, his quicksilver eyes unreadable. But when she met his gaze, she saw it. The flicker of understanding. Of acceptance. He knew. He'd always known on some level that it would end like this. That their love was a tragedy written in the stars, inked in the blood of their sins. Samantha's finger curled around the trigger, tears blurring her vision. I'm sorry, she whispered, her voice cracking on the words. I'm so sorry. Killian just smiled, a sad, soft thing that cleaved her in two. Don't be, he murmured. In another life, in another world, I would have loved you until the end of time. Samantha's heart shattered, the pieces lacerating her chest. This was it. The end of the line. The final act in their twisted play. She took a deep breath, squared her shoulders, and turned the gun on her brother. Dante's eyes widened a flicker of fear in their icy depths. Samantha, what? What? No more, she gritted out, tears streaming down her face. No more bloodshed. No more lies. It ends here, Dante. It ends now. Her brother snarled, reaching for his own weapon. But before he could draw, Samantha squeezed the trigger, the gunshot cracking through the air like thunder. Dante staggered back, crimson blooming across his chest. His mouth worked soundlessly, his eyes flaring with shock and rage, and something else. Something that looked achingly like relief. He crumpled to the ground, a marionette with its strings cut, and Samantha felt a part of herself die with him. Her brother died. Her mission. Her very reason for being. The next moments passed in a haze of rain and gun smoke, of Killian's arms around her and the distant wail of sirens. They had to run had to disappear before the authorities arrived. Before the CIA came to clean up the mess she'd made. But as they melted into the shadows, hand in hand, Samantha felt something flicker to life in her broken chest. Something that felt like hope. Like a future. Because in the end, she'd chosen love over duty, her heart over her mission. She'd chosen Killian, in all his broken beauty, all his haunted grace. And come what may, she knew she'd choose him again. Always. The safe house was little more than a decrepit cabin, tucked away in the heart of the mountains like a forgotten secret. Its walls were weathered and gray, the roof sagging under the weight of too many winters. But, to Samantha, it was a sanctuary. A place to lick their wounds and plan their next move. She stood at the cracked window, watching the mist curl through the pines, Killian's arms wrapped around her from behind. His touch was a tether, grounding her in the present, even as her mind spun with the ghosts of their pasts. We can't stay here forever, she murmured, leaning back into his solid warmth. Sooner or later, they'll find us. Killian pressed a kiss to her temple, his breath ruffling her hair. Then we'll keep running. Together. Samantha closed her eyes wanting desperately to believe him. 
to believe in a future where they weren't hunted, weren't haunted by the blood on their hands and the scars on their souls. But she knew better. Knew that the CIA would never stop looking for her, not after what she'd done. She was a rogue agent, a traitor to her country. And Killian. Killian was a wanted man, his face plastered across every news channel and government watch list. They were living on borrowed time, and the clock was ticking down. It all came to a head on a bitter cold night, with the wind howling through the eaves and the shadows closing in. They'd just settled in for a meager dinner, when the sound of tires crunching on gravel set Samantha's nerves alight. In an instant, she was on her feet, gun in hand, Killian a tense line at her back. They moved as one toward the door, years of training and instinct taking over. But when the door burst open, it wasn't a SWAT team that greeted them. It was a ghost. A specter from Samantha's past, wreathed in the fog of memory and regret. Hello, Samantha, her father said softly, his weathered face etched in lines of sorrow. It's been a long time. Samantha stared, her gun lowering a fraction of an inch. This couldn't be real. Her father was dead, killed by her own brother's hand. She'd seen the body, felt the wrenching agony of loss like a knife to the heart. And yet, here he stood. Older, wearier, but undeniably alive. How? She whispered, her voice cracking on the word. How is this possible? Her father sighed, running a hand over his grizzled beard. It's a long story, kid. One I don't have time to tell. His gaze flicked to Killian, hardening imperceptibly. All you need to know is that I'm here to bring you in. Both of you. Samantha's grip tightened on her gun, a hysterical laugh bubbling up her throat. You're CIA. Not a question, but a bitter realization. All this time, all these years, and her father had been one of them. The very organization she'd betrayed, the one hunting her like an animal. Her father's eyes softened, a flicker of pain in their depths. I'm sorry, Samantha. I never wanted this for you. Never wanted you to be caught up in this life. Anger flared in Samantha's chest, hot and bright. But you let me believe you were dead. Let me mourn you. Let me break in ways I never thought possible. She shook her head, tears blurring her vision. How could you do that to me? To us? Her father flinched, regret etching his features. I had no choice. It was the only way to keep you safe, to keep you out of the crosshairs. He took a step forward, his hands raised in supplication. But it's over now. Come with me, and I can make this right. I can fix everything. Samantha hesitated, a lifetime of love and trust, warring with the bitter sting of betrayal. She wanted so desperately to believe him, to fall into his arms like the little girl she'd once been, and let him chase away the monsters. But she wasn't that little girl anymore. She was a woman forged in blood and shadow, tempered by loss and pain. And she knew, with a bone-deep certainty, that there was no going back. No matter how much she wished it. I can't, she said softly, meeting her father's gaze with a steady resolve. I won't. I. Her father's face hardened, a flicker of something dark and dangerous in his eyes. Don't be foolish, Samantha. You know what will happen if you resist. What they'll do to you. His gaze cut to Killian, a sneer curling his lip. And your lover? They'll bury him so deep, he'll never see the light of day again. Killian stepped forward, his body a hard line of tension. I'd like to see them try, he growled, silver eyes flashing. Samantha's heart clenched, love and fear, a dizzying tangle in her chest. She knew Killian would fight to his last breath to protect her, to keep her safe. But this was a battle they couldn't win. Not alone. She lowered her gun, slowly, deliberately. You're right, she said, her voice steady despite the tremor in her hands. I can't run forever. And I won't let Killian pay for my sins. Her father's shoulders sagged, relief etched in every line of his face. Good girl. I knew you'd make the right choice. But Samantha wasn't finished. She took a step forward, then another, 
until she was nose to nose with the man who had once been her entire world. I'll come with you, she said softly, but not as your prisoner, not as a pawn in whatever game you're playing. Her eyes flashed, a lifetime of pain and determination crystallizing into diamond-hard resolve. I'll come as your equal. As a partner in taking down the real monsters, the ones who turned my brother into a killer and my father into a liar. She lifted her chin, a queen in her own right. I'll come to finish what I started, to burn this corrupt agency to the ground and build something better from the ashes. Her father stared at her, a mix of pride and trepidation in his gaze. For a long moment, the only sound was the wind whistling through the pines, the crackle of the dying fire. Then, slowly, he nodded. Okay, he said, his voice rough with emotion. Okay, Samantha. We'll do it your way. Samantha felt a weight lift from her shoulders, a sense of purpose settling in her bones. This was her path, her destiny. To fight not just for herself, but for all the broken souls caught in the CIA's web of lies and deceit. She turned to Killian, her heart in her eyes. Are you with me? She asked softly, reaching out to twine her fingers with his. Killian smiled, a fierce, feral thing that set her blood ablaze. Always, he rasped, bringing her hand to his lips. In this life, and the next. Together, they walked out into the night, ready to face whatever storms lay ahead. Ready to rise from the ashes of their pasts and forge a new future. One where love and justice reigned supreme. It wouldn't be easy. The road ahead was paved with blood and shadow, with secrets and lies. But Samantha knew with a bone-deep certainty that they would triumph. Together. Because in the end, their love was the most powerful weapon of all. A force strong enough to shatter empires and rebuild worlds. And as they disappeared into the mist, hand in hand, Samantha felt a flicker of hope take root in her heart. Hope for a brighter tomorrow? a better world. A world where the girl in the pink dress and the boy with quicksilver eyes could finally truly be free.